this weekend in Manchester against Albanian Sefer Seferi, I think his name is. Who is that? I think he's the number two ranked cruiserweight in Albania. Is it like two cruiserweight in Albania or something? Yeah, the, the number one is actually his brother, who's 41. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. What, what, what do I say? I don't know what to say, you know. It's a bit of a joke to be a former champion coming back fighting someone like that, you know. I was expecting to come back fight a decent level of opponent. Obviously, been out of the ring for two years, so it's a hard arts art for him to come back against top opponent, but there's better guys in that agree to come back to fight, you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't have come back and fight that kind of guy. He's former world champion, whatever, you know. What do you make of his return to the ring? Do you think it's good for boxing? Do you think he's going to be able to recapture the form that he had of old? I mean, where do you stand on that? I don't know. It's good for boxing. It's good for me. It's good for Ali of Everweights. I'm another top guy back in the division that we can have top fights with, you know. So that's good. But I don't know where he's at. Why is he coming back? What is his motive? You know, how much drive he's got left in, in, in the tank? I don't know. I don't know. So I, um, I have no idea. You know, if he can come back and be the same. I, I, I believe that when he had Peter, that was the best thing he did. Now he's not with Peter and Fury anymore. I'm not sure how good he's going to come back. I'm not sure this guy that's training him, he has no experience. He hasn't trained anyone. And it's just like, you know, I don't know. This Ben Davison, who is he? You know, who was he trained? What has he done? You don't leave someone that has experience. And, you know, Peter had good... Peter to get him in a mental state that he needed, you know. Tyson Fury is probably just doing what he wants to do with this guy. He's always a bit of a This guy probably laugh at his jokes. That's not funny. You know, a bit of a yes man sort of thing. So, you know, but we'll see. I wish him all the best and I'm glad that he's got his life back on track. And I'm glad that he's doing well and he's in mental, he's in a positive mental state. Almighty Tyson Fury, man. Shout out to IFL TV. Great interview with Dylan White. Um, Just his words on Tyson Fury. We all feel like that, man. Um, the dude he's facing, I don't even think it's worth promoting that he's back just due to the dude he's facing. Like, this guy is a boxing promoter, allegedly, from what I've heard. I don't know he was ranked as a boxer. Funny enough that his brother is number one and he's number two. Really? Come on, man. Uh, as far as him being an out-and-out -out fighter, look... <sighs> I get that he's trying to build... I, I get Tyson Fury's trying to build up his confidence in terms of who he's going to fight next, you know, getting a, a, a quick wash-up fight. Does it have to be this kind of a wash-up? Like, can't you get somebody who's like an out-and-out -out amateur, like, just turned pro? This dude isn't even a pro fighter. He's just a promoter, you know? From what I've heard. Um... Or even better, why don't you fight Dylan White? Seems like he's game. He wants all the smoke. And mind you, if Dylan White can beat Tyson Fury, imagine the rematch he would have with Anthony Joshua. People will line up all over London just to get those tickets, man. Think about it. If if Dylan White could beat Tyson Fury, that that rematch would be insane. And vice versa, if Tyson Fury could beat Dylan White, which is possible, you know, he, Tyson Fury is really talented as a fighter. Let's not get it misconstrued. So, you know, I, I like I like how he's approaching this. You know, I thought he... <sighs> That's Tyson Fury fight. It's frustrating, man. You know, just <sighs> let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. We got one out of two of the motherfuckers, you know. You mean you motherfuckers come strolling in here all walking tall and shit? It'll be out. Yeah. Man, I'm saying, man, we was blazing on them dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Just got in the heat, man. We was blazing, though. It was like... All right, all right, relax.